I just took the subway two stops and now we are walking towards the JR line Shinkansen. We decided to buy the JR East Pass, which will cover our trip to and from Nagano, as well as any JR lines we take within the five days. Because we've been staying in each city for so long, it didn't make sense to get the JR Pass when we came to Japan. If you are planning a trip to Japan, there's a JR Fare Calculator. I'll put a link in the description below, and you can calculate based on the cities you're going if it's worth it to get the pass or not. From Nagano Station, we had to get to Yudanaka Station in the town of Yamanochi, where we were staying. There's a local train. Normally it costs $13. We decided to pay the extra $3 and get the front row seats. So total for both of us was $32 one way. Shinshu Nagano then goes on to Yudanaka. The next stop will be Gondo. Traveling from Tokyo to Yudanaka Station actually takes a pretty long time. The Shinkansen is an hour and a half, and then the local train is another 45 minutes, which is almost three hours. If you wanted to do the monkey park as a day trip, then you still have to take a bus from Yudanaka to the monkey park and then hike up to where the monkeys are. It can be done as a day trip, but I would suggest staying in the town of Yamanochi like we did. just checked into Hotel Omodako. They gave us little pamphlets for the monkey park and uh, the bus schedule and another map. So much and it's so nice. This hotel costs about 100 Canadian a night. I believe 99,000 yen a night. We took the JR Shinkansen to Nagano and from Nagano, we got on the sort of like local train that goes all the way to Yudanaka, which is just at the base of the monkey park. So this is, there's a lot of hotels in this area because a lot of people come here to go see the monkeys in the mountains, which is what we're gonna do tomorrow. Yeah. This Ryukan had an onsen, which is a hot spring bath. They had both indoor and outdoor. And this was my first experience with a Japanese onsen and it was so amazing. After walking in the cold all day, there is nothing as relaxing as a hot onsen. Mm. 
Many Ryu cans offer what's called a kaiseki dinner, which is small, intricately made dishes, usually with local ingredients. And of course, we had to try it while we were here. The small dishes are deceiving though, because it is actually so much food here, I couldn't finish it all, and Chris had to eat some of mine. I don't have any idea if we're doing anything right here. She said everything in Japanese to us, <laughs> but it's really good so far. Each dish that I tried was so delicious. I highly recommend this hotel if you want to stay in Yudanaka and go see the monkeys in the mountains. Between the amazing kaiseki dinner, the onsen experience, and just the nice hospitality, it was a great, great experience. It's really smooth. Some rice and yeah, some kind of meat. So nice. Sausage. The restaurant that we ate at here in Yudanaka twice is actually a famous restaurant. They have a wall because they have a curry challenge. If you finish their like monster plate of curry, it goes your picture goes on the wall. They also had a signed card from Christopher Lloyd from Back to the Future, which was pretty cool. And the staff there are so nice. So the first night she gave us little cranes as we were leaving. Uh, which is so cute. And then tonight, I think she recognized us when I walked in because she was like, oh, hi, like so excited. And she gave me this little cat <laughs> and she gave Chris this little cat. It's so cute. I adore that little shop. If we ever come back to Nagano, which I hope we do because the city has been amazing. The onsen here is so nice and it's just so beautiful. And the food is so good. If we ever come back, we're definitely going to this shop because it's just, how can you not? <laughs> I think it was $24 for both of our meals tonight and we got 
smaller portion of the curry because they have the monster plate, but they also have like a regular portion. Oh, I got the grilled meat plate, which is what Chris got the other night. And I tried the sauce and it was so good that I just had to order it myself. And then we also shared a plate of gyoza. So yeah, I definitely recommend it. I cannot pronounce the name. I'll put it here. But definitely, if you ever come to Yudanaka to go to the Snow Monkey Park and you want to stop by a restaurant on your way or like on your way back, definitely hit up this one. They're so nice. I had such a great time here in the town of Yamanochi. The hotel was amazing. All the food we ate was so good. And of course, the Monkey Park is definitely worth visiting. I did a separate video on that. I'm very glad we decided to stay in the town rather than do a day trip. I think it'd be too long and honestly it's such a beautiful town it's worth checking out. <laughs>